not it. All right. And let me know if I should just start the the the, the, the prayers as we wait, as you know, if anybody saunters in, if anybody like struggles in. Okay. Because I'm ready to start. So um good evening, good afternoon, good morning. If you're watching this post presentation. I am Dr. Michelle Chance, an assistant professor of psychology at Fort Hayes State University, and you are joining uh, us with a uh, conversation discussing uh, social behaviors, communication, uh, casually titled Drakeology, as you, if you've seen uh, the poster. So thank you for uh, participating in everything with that. I'm joined here this evening by my colleague, Dr. Safe Sekalala. Um, he is a um, communication scholar and project manager and will be uh, leading the uh, primary discussion here this evening and hope that this is a, um, a dialogue and less, less of a lecture and more of a conversation. And so um, thank you so much again if you are watching this after the uh, fact. And feel free to add comments, um, wh whatever platform that this is being shared on. Um, and we, of course, will engage uh, after the fact as well. So you have the floor, Dr. Sekalala. Uh, let's see, how do I unmute? Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh am I, I'm not on mute right now. You can hear me, right? Can you hear me? Yeah? Okay. All right, cool. Because because I thought I'm, I'm on mute the whole time. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Chance. This is, that was a very eloquent uh, introduction uh, of our presentation um, and just to kind of piggyback off of what you just said in terms of thanking our audience um, bear, bear with me by the way folks I have my my nasologist is bothering me so I might uh, take some medicine as I talk uh, so my my apologies for that but Dr. Chance thank you so much for like uh, for rather that very uh, succinct very pithy and uh to me, at least eloquent um, uh, introduction of our presentation. So please confirm uh, three, maybe via the chat, because I, I, as I already said, uh, I'm going to leave it to uh, Dr. Chance to be the one uh, to like, you know, kind of uh, uh, give students, uh, looks like it's, it's just you right now, three. But uh, Dr. Chance will be the one to let you all know uh when it's okay for you to you know uh, unmute yourself and uh, speak but uh in the chat and Dr. a chance you can just confirm verbally and in the chat Sri, do you see the um the post like the the, the, the part the the deck the 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 the, the, the parp uh, i don't know what they call them nowadays slide decks the do you do y'all both see that Dr. a chance Emma, what are you asking? I'm sorry. Uh, do you see the 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 introduction of Drakeology, um, uh, slide deck? Is it? Uh, yes. Yes. Right. It's. I see. It's in edit mode. It's not currently in slideshow mode. And 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 I'm gonna and if, because like the thing is, um, I have you see up here. I have some other tabs, right? Ah, so like okay. yeah. So that's that's I'm gonna keep it that way. And it looks like Shri responded. Shri can see it. Excellent. Good job. Thank you so much. Uh, for confirming that. Uh, Shree. And uh, all right, so let's get started. Uh, the, the, this presentation is titled Introduction to Jerkyology. Okay. As just a chance mentioned a few moments ago, uh, obviously, this is we, we prepared this uh, meant for students of uh, from, Dr. from Dr. Chance's classes, uh, two of your classes, Dr. Chance, if I'm not mistaken, one being a uh, a lower level kind of introductory style class and the other one being um i believe it has elements of so social psychology or kind of like yeah uh, general right? we had general and we had social interest excellent invited. excellent all right and so we designed this and just a, a little bit of background um shriek may i ask you pronouns if you don't mind please uh, what, what may i call you was it mr ms what may i call you if you don't I just don't want to miss, I don't want to butcher you. Oh, let's see this in the chat. You're responding. Uh, she, her, all right. So, uh, Mrs. Shri, um, what was I going to ask you? Uh, just to give you, and uh, because you're the only student, and so, but all the other students that are going to be watching this later, to give you all a background in terms of 
why, the how and why. So as Dr. Chance mentioned, I'm a, a professor of communication. In fact, uh, the official title of, of my degree is Communication, Culture, and Media. And when we say culture, we're talking about mostly pop culture. You know, culture also in the sense of social science and like anthropology, um, but also uh, a, a lot of it to do with uh, pop culture, meaning music, right? which, which you know, this is the, 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 the topic, this is kind of the subtopic today, music, movies, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And so um, I happen to be a Drake fan over the years, right? Uh, we all have different tastes in music. Sure, if you could do me a favor, and Dr. Chance, let's make this, let's also be fair. So me, I'm, I'm revealing from the outset that I'm a Drake fan. But as we're going to see later, Shri, you'll see, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be easy on him. So Shri, who's your favorite? Just, just type in one of, one of your favorite artists. Um, uh, could be R&B, could be pop, whoever one of your favorite artists is. Pretty please just, because, you know, obviously for me, I just said it's Drake. So let's see what. News tree says, "Be oh my god, the Korean the the." <laughs> All right, well, you know what? Uh, the you Korean know, pop is a fake. K-pop is a is is a trend I, right now. Let me Ooh. tell you, and you know what? And let's do this. Let's do this. Um, since I'm glad you said that, Ms. Tree, because here's what I'm gonna do for you, for uh, for uh, for for you. I'm gonna give you like the link to my channel where. It's so funny. This morning, I was putting together a, uh, a a new playlist, right, on my channel. And that playlist, um, I had to include music from all over the world, right? And so I thought about Africa. In fact, actually, Africa, I did the old school kind of folk music, uh, world music, Yusundo and Kajanin and that kind of thing. But I should have, and then Afrobeats is what I left out, okay? But uh, let me post my uh, uh, channel in the uh, in the what you want to call it link which is the videos. Let me post my um, link in the chat for you, Ministry, because BTS one of the on the play one of the playlists. This is, the, this is let me click on the playlist, and uh, both y'all can see my uh, Dr. Chance three y'all can see them my screen, right? Okay, um, I I hope, right? Yes, okay. So, and then this right here, uh, Ministry of Pop Culture Studies and Dr. Chance, this is what I was, I was telling you about right now. So, but let me just put the general, um, kind of the general uh, link uh, of my channel in the chat right here. All right, it goes. So, the background of the study, I, as a Drake fan, I'm also a, I'm a social scientist and, and in general, we social scientists study uh, kind of, society okay who are we as a society sociology and these topics such as social justice for instance okay uh gender studies social justice we look at um the the, the structures of society that make us you know like the, we people being the community people being the species that we are you even have like apes and even ants and all these like other animals that live in communities right what social science does is we look at human beings with our superior brains, with our like minds and our superior kind of uh, abilities for language. You know, we're very, we have that, that makes us very unique among all the animals. Our communication is the most superior now here on earth anyway, right? And like uh, maybe, I'm going to digress, I was going to say like maybe out there there are other life forms. But on earth, we are the most sophisticated um, we have the most sophisticated minds. So social science looks at uh, the structures of society, okay? What's the relation between a person, okay? So um, in terms of micro, one person, two people, micro, a family, okay? Meso, community, okay? And then macro, the large picture, the, the, um, the sets of communities, society, a country, region, etc. okay? That's what social science, the uh, social science is about, and um, one of the things I oh uh oh the uh, Dr. Chance looks like you 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 you've appeared again, 
<laughs> you have two videos that are channels not, not sure what that is um and, and and one of the things that we'd like to do is we'd like to critique you know uh kind of the follies the 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 the, the mistakes of human nature right it's not unlike Shri, have you taken because I know like in general requirements, I don't know um what level you are as a, are you a, a sophomore, a junior, or a freshman, but uh go ahead and actually tell us in the chat. And I want to know if you've taken like literature, like literature, or let's see what you're saying. You're a freshman. Uh this semester have you taken any um oh looks like there's a there's a a poll. I'm gonna say yes. But I mean oh whoa. Someone said no. It's a hundred percent no, and I, I'm not allowed to vote. I'm trying to say yes. Uh oh, never mind. Okay, first of all, let me just like take that off because like it, it did not allow me to vote, and that's not fair. But as hosts, we can't vote on the polls. Oh, we're not allowed. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh my. Wow. That's a mystery. Is not a Drake fan, and I, I understand because we're gonna get into that. So what I was saying is literature, right? Or maybe in in French in, in high school you did uh, English literature, right? or English or another language, perhaps, right? You do humanities, you do uh, you've you've done. I know I know Fort, uh, Fort Hayes, just like other schools, they require you to do a bunch of humanities and uh, like social sciences, like in your first year, in general requirements, correct? Mystery, intro to literature, exactly. And so literature and history, okay. And philosophy, all I mean, well, philosophy is actually usually classified more as a social science, but all those subjects, right? The literature is a perfect one. We talk, we look at human nature, what makes us like, for instance, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, and like, I believe it's Othello, right? Where you look at Iago acting like, oh, in fact, like the play that I've seen, um, the interpretation, like, oh, honest Iago, Othello. Othello thinks uh, Iago is his most favorite lieutenant, right? Is his most loyal lieutenant. Uh, on, honest Iago, like he adds the word the word honest, the title honest to Iago's name, and yet Iago is two faced the whole time. He's working to destroy Othello. Okay, or Julius Caesar, same thing. So that's what uh, social scientists will look at: what makes us tick, and what makes us. What are the mistakes we make? So, for instance. Misogyny, let's get right into it. Misogyny is one of those things that like we look at. Um uh Dr. Chance, I shared this with her earlier, but I, I guess she, you know, um I'm gonna I'm gonna own up to the I'm gonna say the, the, the mistake is mine in terms of um uh because I was hoping that yeah uh Shri, go ahead and download this because it's in the chat. So download the document, okay? And Dr. Chance, what I encourage my opinion is we're recording this. Other students, they have not attended. I understand it's the evening. Maybe, hey, finals are around. Maybe people are studying. But those students that um, still, if you're being kind to students and you want to really like help them boost their grades by however many points, this document right here, they can use it and they can like watch this video and kind of like just do a little bit of a discussion. Just one page or bullet points. That's enough. Yeah. Okay? So um, if you are watching this after the fact, then... Um, being able to um, address each of these uh, points and uh, submit this on the link that I put for the uh, extra credit, that will be um, the required submission for attending after the fact. Folks, young men and women, look, Dr. Charles is being kind. I, I don't know if I'm you right now, and I know that I have a C minus average or a C plus, let's say, right? Or rather, yeah, like a, like a C plus average. Dr. Chance is really giving you a chance here to get to that B minus even more. So I highly encourage you to do this. And this is fun too. All right, now let's get right into it with Drake. Let me go back to the slide, the title of the, the slide, Drakeology. So Drakeology is who is the person or the persona that we're looking at in the context of social science, okay? I just explained what social science is in relation to human nature, right? And Dr. Chance, I hope, uh, feel free to cut in and like anything I'm leaving out or anything you want to emphasize to the students, by all means, feel free to cut in. But I think I've done a decent job. It looks like you, by now, you're not frowning. So, you know, I mean, if you were like, then I, then I know that I'm like, oh my God, I'm, 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 my colleague is not, I'm not shaming my colleague. Uh, Drake, Ms. Free, and everybody watching this later, Drake is the, 
persona is like the microcosm there's like the human microcosm so to speak the exemplar that we're using to study the basics of social science in general writ large social science pop culture media studies now on my end uh these things are hard to like navigate because i'm trying out there it is all right because i was trying to put the thing at the top it was covering my the zoom window was covering part of my my slide okay so we're looking at drake in relation to uh uh, social science, pop culture, and media studies, okay? Now, to get us started, let me tell you all, uh, BTS, Shri, you like BTS, and I pulled up my channel earlier here. In this pop culture studies, you'll find some BTS, some like, there's one of the videos is a BTS, uh, the best of BTS. So let me close this window because I, I don't want my RAM to get overloaded. I just wanted to share that with you because, but that's a very good choice, Shri. You've redeemed yourself a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Shri. Uh, I'm beef I'm beefing with you a little bit for not liking Drake. Of course, I'm joking. Uh, Drake tends to be very polarizing. Again, this and this is again, this is why we're looking at him because he's really uh, all right. I'm gonna play a clip here, very thirty maybe seconds, thirty not even forty seconds of one of his songs, and this is off of his earlier albums. Excuse me. So let me give you some background for everybody watching this, the students watching this. Um, and Ms. Shree, let me give you a background here in terms of why I like Drake. Um, 2008 is when I finished my bachelor's degree. And bear with me, I'm going to meet myself so I can clear my, my nose. Uh, uh, Dr. Chance knows about this. I have nasal allergies, which, uh, and then I'm, now I'm trying to like, I'm trying to bring back the, uh, the window. Oh, how do you? Oh, perfect. Uh, it sounds very disgusting. My apologies. Trust me. I have my allergies are bothering me. You see these? These are Tylenol pills. 2008. Uh, I'm Dr. Sekalala now. I'm Dr. Sekalala. I'm Safe Sekalala, PhD, PMP, project manager, uh, professor, software engineer, uh, self taught software engineer, and all the uh, data scientists and all those. 2008, I was like a, a humble. I wasn't actually shit. I was a humble. I was like, Guess what? I, I I had graduated from college with a bachelor's degree. And not just any bachelor's degree. Ms. Shri, what's your major? Type it in the chat. And Dr. Dr. Chance, what was your undergrad major? Because I, and there's something I'm gonna I'm gonna tease you all. Dr. Chance, you go first and Shri in the chat, you've been very good about responding to us. So but Dr. Chance, uh, tell us what was your so major? I double major in psychology, just general psychology, and my other uh, my dual degree was in uh, mass communications, PR. PR. All right. Um Shri, uh, we don't see a major. So double psychology and PR, right? Is what you just said, Dr. Chance. All right. Finance and psychology. Okay, okay. For number one, you know what, Shri? I love your majors, okay? I love your majors. But English majors, people who like uh take English, English majors are known to be just cool. We're cool, man. We're we 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 just have we have swag. We're we're smart. We we have a the gift of gab. Because I'm just being silly here. This is when I graduate. At that point, I had not. Doctor Chance, you might have watched Degrassi back in the day. I did not. So Drake, I, did, I did not. I was. Not. I think I was too old for Degrassi. Okay. I was already in, in college. So I mean, I'm an old millennial, unfortunately. I mean, I, so I, I think you and I are in the same boat there because yeah, our age were because we're, we're the same age range. You and I. Uh, in fact, I think we're we're right the same age. But the thing of it is, is other people knew about like other people of our age and other people a little younger than us knew him. Like my ex uh, wife. Know him from Degrassi, okay? Yeah, oh, I know who I know who Jimmy is. I just didn't watch the show. <laughs> oh, because you know his character, right? And yeah. um, you know, and Shree, here's the thing. Listen to me, please, and just feel free to to like chop in. So the good thing is you're in mute, so it's not like you're gonna be cutting me off. But hey, I wouldn't mind you unmuting and saying something. If I say something like that, you feel very you're like you know what, uh, Doctor Say. You're being, you no, 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 no. Yeah. Because I know, like, you're not a Drake fan. I Let me just say, the misogyny, I do not support it. That's part of the whole point here in this presentation. 2008, I'm done with the undergrad. 
at that point, he had finished his Degrassi stint a while back. He was very smart in high school. He could have gone to, he had the grades to actually go to Ivy's in the States or University of Toronto, like the good, you know, like the, the equivalents of the R1s in, in, in Canada. He had very good grades from high school. He's very smart, right? But guess what? And then Degrassi, mind you, he was acting in Degrassi. The mom, he was raised by a single mother. The mom was a florist. She has, uh, she was sickly. To this day, she's still sickly. She was a florist. They were struggling. They lived in a poor neighborhood in Toronto. Okay? Somehow, uh, I don't know if like, there was an addition call or something like that, but somehow Drake was able to get on, on Degrassi. Okay? And he was making good money. But a lot of, and Drake is very self-reflective. And in a lot of his songs, it talks, he talks about, in one particular song, he goes, quote unquote, I made a career of reminiscing. And, and you know, a lot of times he's talking about like uh, Rihanna. He has, I don't know, uh, I thought she had hurt him, but then I, I learned that he hurt her. And then, but he can't get over her. He's always now, he's that bitter. And again, this is part of the whole misogyny thing of like the girl, the, the woman, excuse me, uh, you know, rejecting you or something or you guys break up and then now you insult her you keep you know uh he's, he's obsessed with her but there's he said i may i i made a career i have like or you can say i have made a career of reminiscing that's him saying that right but he talks about his background all the time he doesn't pretend to have been like you know a biggie for instance biggie and tupac they were not thugs they were not tupac's mom was like a, a black activist they were kind of like uh, middle class biggie's mom was rich like she had won like some kind of settlement and Notorious B.I.G., he, he was a, uh, you know what I mean? He was like, talking about, oh, uh, it was all a dream. Well, I used to read Word of Magazines. I used to, I used to deal with drag, drugs. No. I mean, like, maybe he did, but he got into it on his of, of his own accord. Drake, on the other hand, was like, so he got that Degrassi part, was making good money, 50 grand Canadian. Now, when you just, you, when you adjust for inflation, and Canadian is more or less on par with the U.S. dollar, right? Fifty grand today, back then might have been Michelle, correct me from uh, Doctor Chance, correct me from her. Would have been like roughly maybe mm, sixty grand, right? Like right now, fifty grand today in America or Canadian or, or Canada, right? Right, uh, like right now, it's maybe mm, help me out. Like it might have been maybe sixty or seventy grand adjusted for inflation, but it was good money. But the thing of it is, so he makes the money. Him and his mom finally. Oh my God, they cut a break. They get out of the poor neighborhood. They move into a good neighborhood in Toronto. Okay. But guess what? They pay their bills. Okay. No, no. This is his mom. Basically, he's re taking care of his mom more. Like the mom, I think, was the floor, the floor, the flower shop, whatever. And all the stuff, everything I'm saying, I can be fact checked later. I might be butchering it. I'm a huge fan. And this is all I know. But um, I'm going to be like uh, fact checking myself later. Um, uh, he makes this good money. He's taking care of himself and his mom, but by the time they pay the bills, the rent and the bills, right? That fifty grand Canadian at the end of the year is gone. It's done, right? And so somehow they were surviving after high school. And by the way, they talk about the fact that in high school he used to go to Degrassi to like record uh the the you know to to shoot to shoot the show. Guess what? He'd he'd be sleeping like barely three four hours a night. A lot of the time he'd crash. I think in the studio he'd come to the studio and he'd be he'd be like because he'd be studying. He was in high school, and guess what he was doing? He was already by then he had a passion for music, for rap, for producing, for rapping, and so everybody every kid in America wants to be a rapper. Like every every it's one of those things that like you know every every. You know, like yeah, a lot of well, not everybody, a lot of kids want to be NBA players and bas and, and rappers and and, like, and singers and everything, right? Uh, uh oh, I want to go to Hollywood to act. I want I want to be an actor. Everybody wants that, okay? But a lot of a lot of people don't make it. Like I guess uh, Doctor Chance, help me out. Let's talk stats here. Would wouldn't you say that ninety eight percent of the people who want want to be? I rapper? would. 
I, I don't know if it's ninety eight percent, but I would I would I, I'm liking to think that it's like that one percent. It's means, a single digit. It's a single digit percentage for sure. Like right out of all I mean, the people, it's probably right up there with the same percentage of people that go to the NBA or the NFL. You know exactly, exactly right. Like so, so even if, even if we say for argument's sake, even if we say that, all right, you know what? If we include not just the like the eight A list rappers, but like even like you know like uh, uh, singers and and, and 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 NBA players or whatever, or maybe people that go semi pro like for NBA or like for um because a lot of like college college basketballers after after they finish after they graduate from college they go to Europe they go semi they go pro in Europe and because you know other countries the NBA is like the top in the world, but like other countries leagues are not that bad either and the money's not that bad either. The point is. Uh-huh. It's not. <laughs> no, but the point is, Drake wanted to be a rapper, and guess what? Doctor, Doctor, Doctor Chance, and you, you can, and Shri, uh, Shri, I'm gonna, I think, uh, Doctor Chance, uh, allow me to, uh, I really want to hear from Shri in this, not, not via written. I really want Shri to speak up here because I'm pretty sure you're in college, and I think you, your majors tell me you're smart. What I'm gonna. To speak fast uh, first, and then Dr. Chance, you can talk about your own experience, and then Shri, let's all discuss this, because this has been so far a lecture, which is what we were, Dr. Chance and I were trying to avoid. Now, oh, hi, Ashley, thanks for joining us. Uh, you've missed a big chunk, but this, this, the, the, the video, the, the, we're recording this. So Dr. Chance, I'm going to go first, you'll go second, Shri, Shri will go next. Ashley, Ms. Ms. Ashley Ramos. I hope, oh, by the way, uh, tell, tell us your pronouns in the chat. I don't want to butcher them. In your but, class, so I can get your attendance. And so, listen, so, Dr. Chance, when I wanted to, 2008, I, I graduated, okay? Uh, I had done English, which is a cooler major than y'all. Like, you, you and Joel whatever media study double or whatever and and she and her finance and psychology i was a Lying. major so i'm cool like that but at some point i realized that i'm studious i enjoy studying and so guess what i started thinking about going uh, doing a doctorate going uh, uh, you know doing a phd and a lot of people when you tell a lot of students when they say that when they tell professors that professors uh, I'm not. I'm not judging the professors, but professors laugh. But you know why? Because doing a doctorate, doing a PhD, or doing a doctorate is not easy. Let's. This is the understatement of the century. Doctor Chance can attest. And so for me, the example that I'm giving here is Drake. What I'm trying to say is Drake wanted to be a rapper, and what did he do? He worked at it. We're going to get to the success later, but he put in the work. He really, he didn't just say, oh, I'm not be a rapper, but then he just sits around. No, he used to go to the studio. He has his buddies, not like uh, a DJ uh, uh, 40 Shabib, uh, uh, DJ 40 uh, Noah Shabib, and Noah Kadaska. He had, he had those people that like from the very beginning, it was his team, and they'd be in the basement, they'd be recording, they'd be like producing, and he used to put his music out on, um, out on a, a thing back then, Dr. Chance, do you remember? It wasn't Facebook. It was Help Me Out, Dr. Chance. One of the very first musicians used to use it a lot. Help Me Out, Dr. Chance. Oh, um, wow. you mean uh, the social media site? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a social like. Which well, uh, MySpace was still fairly popular. Like MySpace. It was MySpace. I believe it was MySpace. Okay, MySpace. So he used to put like, but like you know, I think no on YouTube he used to just put his he used to put out his like songs. And when you when you go to YouTube, there's a lot of Drake music that uh, a few years ago what he did is he did a compilation of like all those songs that he used to do back in the day that like he didn't put in albums because he he drops a lot of sing- he used to drop a lot of singles back then. He still does it now, but the point is he put in the work and he has gone to where he has. Me, I wanted to go to doctoral school, or whatever. I did it. Uh, we're not saying this to brag because Shri, we're gonna have you talk as well. But can we relate, Doctor Chance, Miss Shri? Can y'all both relate to wanting something and then going and getting it and working for it instead of just sitting around? Uh, Shri, you can go first, Doctor Chance. It's up to y'all. Well, Ashley, you came in a little late, but you caught the question. 
And, uh, oh, and she's in uh, another time zone, a significantly different time zone. So thank you for for joining from uh, Japan. Uh, there's a chance I'm gonna go first, Ms. Tree. Come on. Uh, so so yeah. Um, I would say that um everything in my adulthood that I've achieved has been very intentional. Honestly, um, uh, not wanting to um be subject to uh, being a product of the system that I was raised in, but being very intentional to uh, to not be that stereotype that I could have uh, been that I that I seen, so. Gotcha, gotcha, good job, sir, good job. Good for you, and you've done it, you've done it. You are, there's a chance, you're one of the most hardworking professors that I know, one of my colleagues, among my colleagues, you are something else. Shri, what about you? What, what can you relate to in terms of like wanting something and then going out there and working hard to get it. And you've gotten it. Let's see in the chat. There's some, some uh, couple of things. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yes. we can hear you very clearly. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So actually, I'm an athlete. I play tennis at Fort Hayes. Uh, and I'm from India. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like for me, it's more on tennis. So it's like wow. I've always dreamt of being in the U.S. studying mm -hmm. at uh, at a good university while you playing tennis for the... Are you yes. on scholarship? Oh, wow. Look at yes. you. My God. So, uh, Shri is one of my... Shri is one of my virtual students and I've never had the pleasure to meet her in person, but mm -hmm. I have filled out... So I knew she was an athlete because I've received several of her athlete uh, checks. So, yeah, I yeah. knew yeah. that uh, she was a... Uh, oh, my God. Just because I've had to check those, you know, various times. Free, good for you. I'm so impressed. Being a college athlete is not easy. It's not easy. And it's like, and they don't give you a pass either. You see how like Dr. Chance has to like do your little checks from time to time. You know, yeah. they, you have to maintain your grades. And I'm guessing you're you're also on an F1 visa, which again, you gotta keep the grades up. Good for you. Oh, I'm, I'm I don't mean to make any assumptions, but uh -huh, I'm so impressed. Ashley, you joined in a little late, but I think you can relate to what we're talking about. I can give you a uh, Dr. Chance. Can I'll let her give you the recap of, of the question. But Ashley, uh, could you relate to uh, what we're talking about as well? And Dr. Chance can help you, uh, can catch you up. Yeah, hey, just ask. Yeah. Hey, go ahead, dear. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. No, um, yes, I can definitely relate. Um, my family is originally from Mexico, so I'm first generation American, Mexican American. Um, so, you know, my family is, you know, is poor. We don't have a lot of money. So, um, I am about to get my bachelor's degree in, in radiology. So I'm the first, um, in my family to have been able to be successful in getting an education and, um, all of that. So, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been rough because I also have four kids. So at the same time, I'm you know, balancing work life, school life, mom life, wife life, and <clears throat> excuse me, my husband's in the military, so definitely can relate. <laughs> trying to find the see, this is why, like, I'm not used to like being uh, the controller of this thing. I was trying to like find the the do they call them? Emo I guess emojis, the clapping emojis. Oh my god! But the one, <laughs> the, the one thing I'm picking, the one beef that I have with you, Miss Ashley. Please never, ever, uh, like, and I, I do, I say the same thing about myself all the time, and my friends, my well wishes, my friends, and I think even Dr. Chance might have said it to me in the past, like, hey, 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 do not call yourself poor, do, do not, don't, like, don't, no one is poor in this world, you understand, okay. and tell your husband, thanks for his service, mm -hmm. I, I'm just saying, Dr. Chance, how, how, how come, how come I, uh, when I was poor, uh, for Hayes, I didn't, I didn't have students like me. I'm so <laughs> jealous. Actually, I'm lying. I did have a couple of students. There was this young lady who was in the military, one of my best. I had some really good students. And Fort Hayes, um, Ashley and Shri, do you know that you're, so Shri, you play tennis. There's a chance. You know that Fort Hayes has the, the best uh, sharp shooting, because like, it's a sport. Like, is it, what, do you, what do you call it? Sharp shooting, whatever. Uh, oh, um, it's uh the the shooting sports area. It's and um, Fort Hayes, I believe, oh, that's is, cool. is the best, and I believe in the, the, the one of uh, at some point it was like it's been the top three or the, the best. And the, the I, I know I've seen an article on it at one point. Oh yeah, um, 
But yeah. just based on the content of it, I probably just like scanned it and kept rolling because I was like, oh, okay, shooting, whatever. <laughs> well, well, but, but, and, and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, like tell your business, but you're not, you're not a stranger to guns, Doctor Chan. Okay. You know? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I care oh. about my ninety percent, ninety seven percent accuracy, but that doesn't help nobody else except to stay up at my house. <laughs> right. Doctor Chan, don't be pretend to be a pacifist. You have a rifle. Or do you know how to use it? So actually, I'm, I'm just all about standing my ground if I need to. If, if, mm -hmm. Like if anybody, all the all the puns intended. If if oh, anybody yeah. <laughs> watching this later gets the temptation to go to Doctor Chazza's house, so because you know, like they think maybe and then maybe they're right, maybe they're right, maybe she has a million in her like stashed away in her. Yeah, I I, I might want to think twice about that. Maybe you wanna. All right. So going back to Drake. So. He works hard, right? Like he's he does the grass. He's doing this, and after the grass is over, uh, bear with me one moment. <clears throat> there was a long period of time where in which he was not. And by the way, uh, uh, Ashley joined us a little late. Please put in the background two things: whether or not you're a Drake fan. Don't lie about it. Be honest, because some people hate him, and we're 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 gonna get to that in a bit. Uh, it, or are you a? Uh, there's very few people. It seems to be either love, hate, or very few in between. So just tell us if you're a Drake fan. And number two, who was your favorite like band or musician? Uh, Shri said BTS, which uh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, after the grassy, uh, and after high school, there was a long period of time where, guess what, he was still in the basement. He, Noah Shabib, he has this group of friends out on the new album, which is so misogynistic. Drake, if you're, if you ever, if I ever meet you, if you, uh, yeah, dream on, man. First, well, first of all, I think I'd pass, I think I'd pass out. I, <laughs> I think I'd pass out meeting Drake. I'd be like, uh, uh, <laughs> but, but I would call him out on it because, like, Drake. The, 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 the new album is just blatantly misogynistic. But there's one, the, the song towards the end, uh, and the refrain, the chorus is, I remember. Like, and talking about like what he went through back in the day, he went through a lot. So at one point, I think he makes mention of, I think the, the interpretation that I make of it is, at one point, one of his, uh, he, he, does it say cousins? It's like, hey, Dr. Chance, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you hear this, don't you think, uh, I, aren't you going to interpret it the same way I do? He says, uh, I remember when my cuz or my buddy gave me a pound to flip it and I couldn't, a pound. So I thought he meant, you know, a pound of drug, yes. what, right? Like he couldn't even flip it. And but he worked hard going on. Like, and, and at one point he started to like, you know, he was putting his own music out online. At one point, Dr. Dre gave him a, wanted to give him a deal. He flew him out to, uh, is it a, 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 a Atlanta or something? Uh, down south somewhere where, where Dr. Dre lives, and there he was. He's drinking. in California. Dre, uh, Dre lives in California. Yeah, Dre, Dre is in Cali, and so like the, uh, Dr. Dre flies him out and everything, and now he's thinking Drake is woohoo, we've arrived. Him and his entourage, they go out, they party. The next morning, guess what? They missed the rehearsal. They missed the studio session. Dre sent him home. Mm. So you know, you know what I mean, like so. And again, so he's working hard, but he made mistakes along the way as well. Excuse me. Well, we all make mistakes. And yeah. I am a Drake fan. I um, actually like his old music better than this, the newer music. You know, mm -hmm. we say that, but we say that, but think about it. Time. It's the we old need... Drake, girl, don't you? Yes, me. we need the old Drake. <laughs> wait, wait, but hold on, hold on. We are saying that, but 10 years from now, this, the new Drake is be gonna... the old Drake. All right, so let me yeah. let, let, let me just wrap up the intro here, folks. So, and so like, uh, eventually he makes it. The the reason I love Drake, all that is to say, is relatability. So, this is the title slide. Uh, this is the purpose of the discussion. We've kind of like already touched on it, pretty much more or less. Okay. Uh, and this this window, I really I really don't like how Zoom. The Zoom window makes it hard for me to like see my my own slide, but I think the rest of you all can see it. Okay, so basically we're looking at his uh we're looking at Drake in the in the context of psychology, social psychology concepts. Okay, now eventually, and the reason we're <clears throat> part of this study, Dr. Chance and I are doing research 
um, that's related to self-communication, okay? And self-communication, in other words, uh, introspectivity, self being uh, introspective. So there's communication, like the, in the beginning of this book right here, which by the way, Dr. Chance, I really encourage you because I think my publisher might be watching this. Uh, the libraries have a, a budget for this and if they get it, your students can, uh, you know, like use the book for free. These, you know, very good discussion questions and activities. There's journaling activities at the end. And so I, I really encourage, uh, well, I mean, students, I know, I know, I know actually it's not going to run out to buy this and you shouldn't because it's expensive, but the library can get it for, they have a budget for it. The point is, uh, this is intrapersonal communication, meaning self-communication, the way we talk to ourselves. As someone with lived experience when it comes to mental health, I'm a mental health advocate. And uh, one of the best ways, if you have money for therapy, go get therapy. If you have money for, if you have like schizophrenia, have bipolar one, take, take your meds if you have to take your meds. But another way that we can help ourselves is to talk to ourselves out of our, this, you have two choices on the day that like you embed, right? Like um, Dr. Chance and I, I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to like uh, our, our business. That's not relevant. But the point I'm making about uh, her and I is we've been through some uh, problems that adults go through. Okay. She and I can relate. And, and Dr. Chance is just amazing. Uh, uh, I hope you don't mind me mentioning that you're a mom, Dr. Chance. She's a mom. I think, I think my, most of my classes know that. I'll and actually, Ashley, you know how awesome moms are because you yourself are a mom, correct? You, I think <laughs> you said that earlier. Yeah. Such a chance is awesome. But like, the thing of it is, is there's two ways you can, uh, in, my, in this book, which again, Dr. Chance, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm only doing this because the publisher is going to be watching this and they want me to plug the book. Um, uh, 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 in the last chapter, I talk about the fact that, and I think my reviewers were like, they went, like one of them, more or less, in their commentary, um, and we can, uh, uh, Shri, Shri and Ashley, at some point, I'm going to let you, I mean, Issa a little bit, but I do want, I don't, I don't want to get through this, because like, I really want to play the clip of over. One of my reviewers was like, they sounded like they were like going, oh, because I was saying about the fact that I had written that book during the last three years of my life have been the most difficult, okay? But when you're in bed in the morning being depressed and, like, it's a disease, it's not your fault. It's chemicals in the brain, so it's not your fault. However, you have two choices. We can put it this way, you have two choices. You won't look at it that way in the moment because you don't have that insight, okay? But I've realized that over time, research, when you study this closely, which I did in this book, you realize that, guess what? I have two choices. I can say... Oh, oh, it's me. That never works. I'm a bad person, man. I've been looking for a job for nine years. Nobody likes me. Why doesn't anybody like me, man? What the hell? Because you can do that. Or you can be like, all right, safe. You tried. You tried. Okay. Luck has, your luck has not been good. But guess what? Uh, what good is it going to do for you to just lay in bed? And just chill and just like, what are you going to give up now? There's people that have invested in you. You have a mother, you have parents, you have siblings that have really invested in you and they believe in you. You're going to let them down? Forget them. What about you? You feel me? All right. So that's the thing. And so this is the relation of like, we're, we're using the fact that Dr. Uh, excuse me, well, Dr. Drake, Drake is, he has that introspection about him. Which is the paradox that it that that is you know it's paradoxical about him because he he has that ability of of being introspective and yet um, he doesn't kind of like counsel uh, counsel himself to be a better man you know like that toxic masculinity being self reflexive should give him a chance to be a better man <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a real a real clip here a, a, a brief clip excuse me and then we'll start the discussion um, so this clip. He has made it. Now, imagine yourself, um, imagine yourself like after, you're him. Now you're Drake, right? And all those years you've been working really hard in the studio, in on the basement in the studio with your buddies, uh, spending nights in there, like kind of just uh, uh, putting your music on the web. And then one day you make it, like you, you finally get to a point where you get a record deal. You get a record deal. Like you actually... Uh, Wayne, uh, Lil Wayne signs you onto Young Money Records or whatever, and then 
obviously those those are imprints. So I think it's Sony B and G or whoever. But you get a record deal now. You you have million. You have like a couple of million now, right? Now, uh, Ashley and Shri, I don't know if you're 21, and uh, if if you are, if you imbibe a little bit, Doctor Chance and I are not social drinkers. When someone when we're tipsy, we tell the truth. I don't drink because he's so easy to relate to and maybe and I, I know a lot of fans love drake for the same reason let's see what uh might be ashley saying which uh let's see uh, uh yeah well well never mind <laughs> uh, but but you know in india which and and in, uh, in europe and in india you'd, you'd you'd be you know uh, america with its liquor laws or whatever all right <clears throat> when you're drunk you're very honest so now listen to this right here i'm gonna play this clip and i'm gonna end it I'd love to play the whole song, but this is not. If you want to listen to it, you can go out there and let's see. Legal age. It is? Oh, Africa, it's 18. Africa and Europe, it's 18. Heck. And Africa, okay, I think that's just European, like Western European. And yeah, Europe. no, but even Africa, Africa, 18. In fact, Africa. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. In fact, in fact, Africa, like, uh, if you look, you're, you're 15 and you look 15 and you go to a club. They'll, they'll let you in, actually. Like, I mean, it depends on the country. But me growing up, like, Japan, it's 20. Okay, so, uh, well, I, I, you know what? I, I don't want to put you on the spot, Ashley. Like, I'm not going to ask you. But the point is, yeah. when we're tipsy, we tell the truth. Now, listen to this right here. Excuse me. <laughs> and Dr. Chance, you said the, the volume is clear earlier. So, here you go. It ahead. was. All right, I'm, I'm going to keep my, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Young man, yeah, yeah. I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year. Who the fuck are y'all? I swear it feels like the I'm just gonna end it there. So again, it's saying I know way like y'all y'all heard the words, right? I know way too many people here right now that I did not know last <laughs> that I did not know last year. Who the f are y'all? Right? When I was in the basement with my buddies, with like with with uh, Noel Cadasta and like uh, Noah Forty Shabib, his buddy Chubb, Chubb is his best friend and his bodyguard. Like you know, we were in the basement like working hard. You guys were not like you know we were just us. And now all of a sudden, I have friends around me. Hmm. Who? <laughs> And <laughs> so he's beat with us. Who the f are y'all? So let me just pause there real quick before we get into the discussion about like kind of this list right here, which Doctor Chance. Uh, by the way, actually came in late, but we we did a we posted it in the chat. If you if you scroll up, uh, Doctor Chance, if she if Ashley scrolls up, will she be with us? Yes. So in the uh, chat, there's a link to this document that has the concepts that we're discussing. And Ashley, for you to read, really I don't get, think like, I can see it. Uh, I... Let, me, let me post it again. Hold on. I, 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 okay, let, let me post it again. Uh, so, uh, so Ashley, what you want to do is for you to maximize your chance of like getting as much uh, extra credit as possible. Uh, uh oh, am I frozen? Nope, you're there. On my end, it looks I'm frozen. What in the world? Oh, I did something else. Instead of uh, instead of uh, instead of what. It, Technology, man. Instead I dropped. Of, I dropped it again. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> I, I did a screenshot. In <laughs> Ashley, for you to uh, maximize your chances of getting good extra uh, bonus points, uh, just follow these instructions on here. This is a one pager, is all bullet points and one pager. Uh, nothing extra, but just really for you to like, you know, just make sure that they. All right, I'm gonna take a pause here. And uh, let me close this window uh, so we can save. And I'm going to close that tab as well. Uh, Dr. Chance is giving you the document. Let me hear from everybody here, uh, the students first. Dr. Chance and I, uh, first of all, y'all are not being, I'm teasing, I'm teasing you here. But, and, and, and let me stop Let me stop the share real quick so we can just kind of look at ourselves and talk, you know, have a nice a talk, uh, uh, a, a good talk. Um, let's, from what you've heard so far, just to recap, here's what I've said so far. I've been talking about Drake's background. We are going to get to the fact that, and, and in the document that Dr. Chance has given you for y'all to use, we do call him out on his misogyny. So no one, no one here 
I'm a diehard Drake fan. And uh and a lot of women are too, but I'm not gonna I'm, I don't give him a pass on the misogyny because he knows better. You feel me? Uh but let's just talk about I talked about his background and the fact that he worked really hard, okay, to get to where he is. Okay, and he's very charismatic, he's a likable guy, his work ethic is crazy. Let's just go back at Shrika, uh, Shri, uh, Shri rather, uh, Shrithika, Shri. You talked about the fact that you're a, a, an athlete, which is awesome, by the way. Ashley, I'm amazed, right? You and your husband. Dr. Chance, I know. But let's just kind of, like, talk about that a little bit again before we move to, like, the larger point of, like, all those other themes, right? Uh, in society, as people, right, uh, what does it, like... What are the expectations that society that we have of ourselves, that our parents have of ourselves? Like what for instance, he he refused to like he could have gone to college, but he he chased his dream. Right? So what do you guys think? I guess it's a vague question. Just you know, like uh, it's more of like an open-ended question. Like what do you I mean, can you relate to his story? Um, you know, like like th that talk of him like having gone through all that. And now he's rich, thank God. And he still works very hard. Can all of us relate? Let me have Ashley go first, if, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I, I feel like I can relate to him. I mean, I don't make as much money as he does. But yeah, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, I think That's it's true. amazing that artists that start from nowhere and, you know, work hard and realize they have a talent and do what they do and get where they get. Um, and I kind of, I mean, I relate in that sense just because, I mean, I kind of started from the bottom. Now I'm here. No. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? Ashley, Dr. Chance, Dr. Chance, <laughs> let me just say, Ashley deserves whatever you're going to give her. Um, I think you should double it. Like, I'm here just here. making me jig in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> from the bottom, now we. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there yet, but I, I'm not at the bottom. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm way surpassed where any of my like cousins or anything. So like I, I, both my husband and I are kind of the same in our families. Like we are the most successful in our families. Um, so I, I'm proud of where I have, you know, what I, where I came from and where I am at now. Um, so I, I definitely think I can relate with him and, you know, oh and, I'm, I mean, and I'm so, I'm just so proud of you. I'm just so <laughs> hearing you, especially I have a soft spot for service members because they don't get enough credit. Um, you know, but wow. Like, so you, yeah, so we, we, I think all of us over here started from the bottom, but the, <laughs> the difference is, is that we're just, <laughs> we're not here like I mean, his here is not uh, all right. Shri, go next. So, Doctor Chad, I don't know. Let's just. I, I'm. What about y'all? Can you relate? And how? Shri, uh, you're next. I mean, I am. Like I am the first person in my mom's side family to make it to the US and we're the like the first generation athletes. Like there's we do not have any athletes in my family. So I'm like the first person to come to the US and as an athlete. And uh most of my dad's side they they they've been to the US, but they've been here for their masters. So I'm like the first person to be to the US as an undergrad. So it's like I'm the first in all of my whole family to be here. And then it kind of is like you have to um, you have to keep working for to 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 do not just like be satisfied that you're here, but you have still have to work hard to you know be the best. I, I, let me cut in here because I I had my hand up because I was gonna ask you. All of us, the four of us, are not there yet. We're getting there, but we're not there yet. But mm -hmm. it's funny, Dr. Chance, correct me if I'm wrong. Ashley, you're a, you're a fan. Those of us that are fans of his, doesn't he sound like there's that pressure to, it's, for him, it's a passion. A lot of rappers, 
so let me let me just give you guys uh ladies don't yell at me don't 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 switch don't don't get off the call when i say this because because I, i've learned to say this better on my dates when i go out on dates because i'm a divorced man i go on dates i'm talking to a young lady i'm i'm, I'm talking to and i say you know because i'm making a point I'm, I'm making a point about like I'm, I'm gonna compliment her but the way i start it so i've learned not to say it anymore like that way but i said i go so I'm not a Beyonce. <laughs> I'm not a fan of what but what Beyonce gotta do with this? Because because she works hard. Like after they've gotten to where they've gotten to, they they keep going hard. And so and this is like people like Madonna as well. People like there's are people you, you gotta you know Tina Turner like you know people that like th there's are there are very few artists that like make it and then they like they keep going so Shri I can totally but then but but then the issue there I guess is Shri the pressure like so it's like for him he's rich he could retire but for us it's like especially when you're not there yet you have that kind of that that that. You do you don't want to lose it. You're like, there's that, you know, what I mean, that the pressure in you. So how do you? I don't know if I don't want to put you on the spot, Shri, but me, uh, I know that like it's I feel that pressure, especially because I'm not there yet. So that's a chance maybe you can uh, get jump in or Shri you can like or, or join. So when I'm thinking of uh how you're what you're asking as far as uh relating um people's perception on where they're at. Uh, back to the material and um, Shri, you're you're my social as well, right? Or are you in my Gen Sci class? Sorry, I didn't get you. Are you in my Gen Sci class or are you in my social site class? I'm in the general. Okay, okay. Um, so, but it, it, well, for no other point, both of you at this point would have been familiarized with um when we talked about emotions and development, how we mentioned Maslow, and we talked about the hierarchy of, of needs and how we can't ascribe to certain things until we reach certain baseline things like physiological and safety. And, and, and do you all remember what's at the top of that pyramid? What this higher order transcendence thing is that we seek for life? I'm not I know it takes like a minute to get on pause. That's why I, I give it a, a minute. Y'all better answer. Good point. <laughs> Google it. Google it real quick. I'm Googling. I don't know if we, uh, I, I'm in the social psychology. I don't uh -huh. know. Self. Right, let me help them out. Self-actualization. Yes, self-actualization. And so that kind of, you know, connects back to that line, you know, Drake said, uh, you know, I, I, I've been, where were y'all? I, I, I made it basically. But the thing is super, you know, pe people that are super intuitive to where they're at and their goals, there is no actual point of stopping. Like the, the end, I don't know if y'all watch Mean Girls, but the end does not exist. It, I think that was the line from it. The end does not exist. or It's infinite, right? Because there's always something more to learn, to ascribe to. And and with that line that Drake said, it's like, yes, I, I've made it to here, but your um, situation is not your destination. So again, connecting back to what um, Dr. Sakala was trying to say about being poor, Sometimes we are financially struggling, honey. That is a thing. But that's just a temporary position, not your eternal destination, unless you so choose that to be, right? And so those are mental things. Those are psychological things. Those are emotional and social and fiscal things, which sometimes are not even in our control to handle. But I'm very adamant that if you have that forward thinking that that basically don't have a fixed mindset, right? You want to have a growth mindset and everything. And though Drake has the lines that, oh, he made it here. I think the fact that he's had what three albums since then shows that he's aware that that's not the end, right? That that's ongoing, just like someone like Beyonce, who, I mean, I haven't went to watch Renaissance yet, but I plan on going in my shiny boots. <laughs> 
So, but 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 Dr. Chance, Dr. Chance, let me cut, Dr. Chance, Chance, let me let me let me let me not play devil's advocate or just let me not. I'm I'm not being like silly in terms of like just a silly debate or something like that. But uh, you in the end you 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 wrapped up your point well. But my question still stands because I have prepared it and it still does stand. Now, Shri and Ashley, this one I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like. Uh, Dr. Chance, I don't think he's going to like... In any case, he, yeah, I'll earn the points for self-actualization. But the big five framework, O-C-E-A-N. So the, the C, conscientiousness. Dr. Chance, what I'm trying to... What I want to know here is this. Excuse me, let me just clear my... Dr. Chance, what you're saying is true. But don't you think... Think about it. A lot of like... How many musicians... Or even uh, NBA players, it's different because they retire. They got to retire at some point. But even them, like I mean, a lot of them after they retire, they just chill, they enjoy themselves. Or a lot of them like do charity. They do a lot of like charity work and whatnot. My point to you, Dr. Chance, is my question, my follow-up question is, isn't there an element of like, it, it also depends on scale of one, I don't know, whatever, uh, the, uh, the, the battery of, of the OCAN framework, how you measure it. But that doesn't doesn't it also depend per person how conscientious you are? Like the three of us, uh, or rather the four of us on the call, might be that kind of person that you're describing. Whereby for us, you know, and I know as someone like I, I have a, rel a relative who's from rags to riches, for real, for real, and they don't like they're in their like eighties and they're still working hard. So, but doesn't that depend also on how conscientious you are? Because some people have to have I have a, a few million. Shush. I'm I'm good now, doesn't it? Or, well, I, I mean, I would I would say anything dealing with personality is going to be a huge driver, um, and being again that 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 awareness that you're speaking of that that where you exist in a physical tangible space where you exist in an emotional cognitive space because, um, sometimes that means continuing to push forward but maybe not in the same lane that you were in before so taking that shifting approach like like i said athletes their bodies do break down so eventually you can't keep grinding on the field right you can't keep grinding on the green or in the in the gym right you can't do that but you might take that same energy and focus it into something else charity work like philanthropy charity uh, work which education, you have, yeah education all that kind of stuff all right, so let's resume. Let me. I'm gonna start, uh, share the screen again, and then we're we're about to we're about to uh we can end a little early. We're meant to end at seven thirty, but we're doing very well with time anyway. So let me just share the screen again and like pull up the uh the presentation. So excuse me, I gotta forgive me because again the and uh, folks, y'all can see my screen, correct or no? Mm -hmm. Y'all see it? Uh, 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 three. Yes. Actually, all right. So the discussion here. Um, we've probably maybe uh already kind of like touched on like uh some of this, but uh let's try to um give this. Um, and you know what? Let me expand it just because I feel like. Bear with me one moment. Uh, eighty percent. So. So, you know, as part of like our discussion, like, you know, the second kind of continue our discussion in a different context, right? So number one here, where we have personalities vis-a-vis -vis our private lives and work for Drake as a, his persona is, he's a rapper and a, a musician and an artist. And uh, just to pause there a little bit, what that implies is as a rapper, as a musician, as an artist, I'm expected to behave in a certain way or there are, I have my own, these standards that I have, like we were just saying, we have aspirations and then there are societal standards, right? Okay, number one. So then the second point here is uh, self-presentation and image management. How do we, oh, not just him, but how does he do, or we, we're using him as a case study. How does he do it, right? How does he do it? And then the rest of us, how do we do it? How do you, um, Goffman, Irving Goffman, I believe is the is the social scientist that, he did uh like a study in a village somewhere. Was it where, where was it in uh Papua New Guinea or somewhere where and he was watching closely people who so anybody that has done a a a, a way to a serve a server job, like you know, you've worked in the as as a as a as a as a waiter or as a server. 
there's this like when my teacher was my professor in, in, in college was talking about it so social it was like i'm forgetting the name of the term but basically self-presentation and image management but it uh, actually this is a bit of a different concept but it, it it relates okay and it also relates to the first point when you're out talking to your the hello uh welcome thanks for coming um uh, would you like first to get you started? Would you like, you know, they, they bring you the water, then right? And the specials of the day, yada, yada, right? And then you smile. I have a, a my godfather said to me that the way this one young lady told us that if a family comes and they have a baby, that even if it's the ugliest baby in the world, <laughs> you gotta say, oh. you'll get a fat tip. Then you go to like, then you turn around, you walk, you just smile. As soon as you know, like those restaurants, those in the restaurants, the kitchen doors like swing open, right? Like you swing through, like you're like, look, watch this. You're like, hey, oh my God, yes, yeah, okay. I'll be right back with your order. Are y'all watching? Okay, so you go and then the, the, you go you go to the kitchen doors. Ah. Oh God, I can't stand those people. Ugh. You know what I mean, right? So some position. Um, I guess like how do we in private? So questions one and two: personalities and and present self presentation and image management. But also kind of you know what I mean, like how do we how we how do we just do that in private and in public? And then uh, the option, the last one is optional. Uh, discuss via brief. But now this this lends itself very well. Uh, as Doctor Chance was uh, as we've been saying all evening. Those are everybody, especially the folks that are going to watch this later, because Tree and Ashley, honestly, uh, if I was Dr. Chance, I'd be giving them like pretty much maybe 50 to 75 percent of the extra credit. But everybody else, this right here, if you haven't attended, uh, discuss via brief bullet point sentences, uh, minimum five of other themes. And again, uh, the document you have, I'm not going to pull it up again because I got to uh, we're wrapping up anyway. Um, oh, I have a question. So based on that document. Mm. Are there any of those themes that we put on the document um, to to our at least our attendees here that you're curious about how how you could tie that into a a, a case study of Drake? Is, or, is there any of those that you or or do you know if you're if you're asking how or if you can if you think of right off the hand how does this psychological concept apply to a to a study of of Drake? And the well, thing is, that just so doubted. Is, yeah, bear, bear with me. Let, let me let me pull up the document here. I have it in my downloads. So bear with me real quick, okay? There it is. So, okay. So, and, and your question to recap, are you asking me questions that I'm particularly curious about in terms of like as a Drake fan or as as as, as a Drake case, we're studying him as a, as a you know, like, uh, 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 this is a case study of Drake, of, of, social psychology concepts right and so you're so I was basically is, asking them outside of the ones we just touched on really which were yeah. the last eight and nine because we just talked about self-presentation and image image management out of the others um ladies was there any of these that you were curious about how they connected to a discussion on uh drink drake and his his presence his his uh his craft his uh uh, social media, I you know, image and stuff like that. Doctor Chance, the question is really is is to the students, not me, right? Yes, yes. I was asking our attendees, are they curious about how any of these concepts that we haven't maybe touched on explicitly apply uh, to the to the topic at hand or the target, I should say, at hand? No, I think that I can understand why these were chosen. Mm -hmm. and how they relate with him yeah uh, and she, i know you said you're not a fan necessarily of break uh i did just take take it for granted that i'm i'm sure you're, uh, you're <laughs> aware of who he is and what what it is that he does as far as the industry goes and have, have familiarized yourself with any of his music because i mean just because you don't like someone doesn't mean that you don't know who they are it's almost like saying i don't know who oprah is or i don't, and I don't know why she, i'm sure why and three, like out of all the music, I know you're an athlete. You're, you know, like athletes are very hardworking. You, you barely have time to like hang out with friends or whatever. But I mean, uh, there's no song at all. Not even you used to call me on the cell phone. I mean, like, 
Anyway, like, but yeah, sure. I think Doctor Chance was asking me. I don't know. I don't know uh, Doctor Chance if if uh, Chant. I'm, I'm trying to the question if sure got it. I guess at least I do. Uh, I do actually. The number three intersectionality. I'm not sure what that. You're not. You're not familiar with that concept. <laughs> no. So intersectionality uh, is a concept that was um basically designed in the 70s, uh, and it was done by Kimberly Crenshaw, and mm -hmm. she was a she's a black lawyer and scholar, and um she was basically able to argue successfully and then turn it into uh, literature about how these identities that we have, they create a very complex environment for people with multiple identities. And sometimes that's by choice and sometimes that's by social force. So for instance, the research that I've written talks about, um, focuses on, for instance, women of color and how they navigate their various identities that sometimes presents challenges to them. So for instance, um, my dissertation was specifically on black women college presidents and other administrators um, mm -hmm. in higher education. And so how did they navigate the challenges that came with their various roles? And it's intersectional because what, a lot of times, if I ask you to describe yourself in three words right now, give them to me real fast, don't even think about it. Who are you? Uh, loyal, proud, and caring. <laughs> okay. And so those are descriptors. Give me, three, demogra Give me three demographics real fast. Oh, um, um, okay. A mom, Hispanic, and uh, shoot, wife. I don't know. Is that one? Okay. <laughs> Boom. So what you just hit me with was two out of three were gender-based or sex-based identities that you gave me, right? The other one was an ethnic identity um, when you mentioned that you were a Mexican background. So when we talk about like, uh, depending on where you're at, and if I were to say, who are you? It's going to shift based on the environment and who's asking you. But a lot of times we start with our most closest identity things. So for me, I'm a Black woman. I'm a mom. I'm an educator. Now, if you were to ask me who I was at a LGBTQIA plus rally, I'm an advocate, I'm an ally, I'm an accomplice, right? And so we wear all of these many hats that we are highly aware of. Some of those are visible, people see them, they, they know they exist, and they, cre they create challenges. Some of them might not be so obvious, kind of like we have hidden disabilities, you can't see everybody's uh, diagnoses. So how do these identities interact with each other to define the person, right? And so that's what intersectionality is. So we're talking about Drake. We know that he identifies as a black man, but he also identifies as a Jewish black man. Um, you know, he- First of all, first of all he is he say, black or is he biracial? Is he black or is he, bi like, like, I mean, is he black or is he biracial? That's a whole nother argument because as a biracial person, I identify as black. So depending on your Obama, upbringing, same thing. Yeah, Obama says the same right. thing. Right. Yeah. So it 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 very much depends on um different things. For instance, I know some other biracial people that maybe um less uh have more uh white or other blood, and they're if they're passing, they might not even own their ethnic background, right? right? So that that's also a very very heavy topic that deserves its whole own conversation. Yeah. But basically. With him ver owning his various identities, being aware that he grew up, you know, in a very struggle, grew up from a single mom, talks about the challenges that he's seen his mom go through looking for love and being alone, even in an old age. And, you know, the challenges that, you know, his his sometimes absentee father presented, all these roles, they're intersecting with each other. And sometimes it brings out the best of us and sometimes it brings out the worst of us. And, and I will say, and it's very funny with Drake how um, as a man, oh, oh my God, I'm the only man on this call, huh? So the thing of it is, is this, it's like, and like men, first of all, my, my goal for Drake, my hope for Drake, really, this, uh, I've, I've said this before, and Dr. Chance, I'm going to go ahead and like just minimize this, this, uh, the, the document, because uh, I think, I think uh, Ashley, you did, a, a, I, I know for me, you, you've done a very good exposition just now, Dr. Chance, of like uh, breaking down, kind of explaining, um, uh, kind of the dynamics of these in relation to Drake, but the, what I what, what I will say is, as a man, right? Um, it's weird how it's isn't it interesting how 
daddy was like we we a lot of us have daddy issues like you know what i mean it's like dad abandoned him dad was not around okay now here he is as a man and he's a dad now i will say now for him it, it's it's a little easier for him in terms of uh like you know in the new the, in the new album or whatever from the new album is that video where you know his son adonis is like you know he he, he you know what I mean? Like, so for, of course, having money kind of helped, but um, I don't know. Like, I guess what, what I'm trying to say is like, I know when I was younger, as a teenager, um, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, it's, this is not all about me and I don't want to give too much TMI, but like, when you're young, you're a boy and you don't know about men and women in terms of like kind of the struggles you're a good man. A lot of us don't th- set out to be bad men, right? But then you grow up and then you realize, like, because like, right now I'm divorced. I can talk about that. That I can talk about. I'm divorced. Okay. And uh, I'm self reflective. Uh, the blame is either 50 50, or maybe I can even give, assign myself 60 40. Okay. So let's just wrap this up and then we'll get to the conclusion in terms of the key takeaways. But Shri, I want to hear from you, Ashley. Ashley, um, you know what? Like, let's it's up to it's up to the uh, both of you. Like, I'm just proud of you guys for of you ladies for coming. Um, but before, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, maybe uh, as you know, maybe one last thing about this. But really, at this point, we're at time. We're about to. We have four minutes left, and let's just go ahead and wrap this up. And just let's freestyle, Ashley. You've been really good. I've loved your um. I really loved your self reflection in this, and 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 oh, but no, 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 and the, what I really loved is how you started from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom, but none of us like, but you're at the top now, right? Right, Ashley. Uh, I'm getting. I'm still working my way up, but oh, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm. No, no, I'm there. cut me a check. Like I know, like you know, God's plan. God's plan. <laughs> <laughs> my God's plan. <laughs> I'm exp- it's in the mail, right, Ashley? But in all seriousness, <laughs> like... and to pro- to kind of preface this conclusion, I think it's important to kind of point out like the the positions that we both took in this whole thing. Um, and he says something about playing devil's advocate early, and it, I mean, sometimes that that creates the best research, uh, both Ashley, Ashley and Shree, and that. So um, you'll very much hear people talk about uh, their perceptions on things and and how people should, you know ascribe to be and, and you know we'll we'll try to justify or attribute as we talked about attribution theory um why a person does what they do right and then why do we do what we do and all these things are constantly interacting so um to quickly summarize dr psychology has the position of, of being very hard on uh drake as far as the person he is and the music he has because of the things that he says which present as of course being um, you know, tox- somewhat toxic masculinity and stuff like that. And that how can you do these things, but present as somewhat hypocritical because while you have these views in your music behind the scenes or with your philanthropy and stuff like that, you're helping people. You're doing good work. Like I remember he knows video. Better. He know, I, know, I know he knows better. He's just doing this. Maybe, maybe to be just naughty, like to, to be, to troll right. us, I feel like. And so for me, I take a different position and, and it could be because I'm a woman um, and, or it's just because maybe I'm an academic, but I don't, um, I guess I don't have as harsh perceptions on that because I'm aware of what the rap culture is. And sometimes it's almost like, I feel like people are wearing masks and you you can't win the game if you're not playing the game. And that's in everything. And, so, and, I mean, and, and, and honestly, thank you so much for that good point. He's not the only rapper or the only musician, pop, like like multiple genres, pop, R&B, to like, to, you know, do this whole misogyny thing. So like no, on no. the one hand, but uh, but but two wrongs don't make a right at the same time. You feel me? So I I don't know like um, but I like I like how you presented it. Um, mm-hmm. anyway, Ashley Shree. So that cognitive and- dissonance comes into play. Um, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily feel bad that I don't chastise him, and that I I don't feel bad that I'm a Drake fan, and will even probably spit out some of these lyrics that are probably 
not as uh you know so, so be like, this be like, that you like you're gonna you're gonna say oh be this be that <laughs> i mean you know you give me a good glass of wine and you might give every trait <laughs> well but it's okay no, no, no. As, as a woman it's okay for me to call to call you know right like because you know it's kind of like the, the n-word of <laughs> oh, so like the, uh, calling women at their name, like the you know, like, no, like you, 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 you to your friends. You say, I'm, a, I'm a bad. Like, I've heard women say this, but hey, right. I'm, a, I'm a bad. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so why are we giving people like Drake passes and stuff like that? Is that is that why? Is that's pretty much like the point of the argument? There is like, is he held to a higher standard? Um, because we're we being like, too hard on him. Yeah, Shree Ashley, let's. I, I want to respect your time. We're at seven thirty, but I've, I'm really glad how this ended. How, I, I was worried at first there, like the the, the you know, um, but and the recording. I really hope the rest of the students take advantage of this. Uh, Ashri, uh, if you don't mind going first, and then Ashley, final thoughts. What can we learn from this? Uh, there's always something to learn. Um, uh, what? How can how can you use this? Dr. Chance's class is almost uh, her, her class is almost done for the semester. We're mm -hmm. gonna improve our lives. We have we're not there yet. Are we as we just said? How can we learn from Drake's successes and mistakes? Uh let's hear that and then we'll wrap up uh the talk. Shri, you there? Uh yeah, yeah. Uh, I just had like one question before I talk about what we've learned. Uh mm -hmm. the 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 document from the drake's one the other document i kind I, I don't know drake personally like not even like who he is so i'm like i'm just kind of uh confused as to how uh the concepts i could match with his there's a chance may i suggest something there's a chance if i may uh it's up to you if, it's up to like so Shri, it's up to dr chance but since you've been here, you've, you've attended the talk, I think your task, Dr. Chance can like tailor it for you in such a way that like, because Ashley is different since so she's a fan of Drake. So for you, right? So Dr. Chance mm -hmm. can I think, help you out there. But let's just, for now, uh, don't worry too much about that. Let's just, you know, you're here and let's just, you know, uh, just we want to kind of get our like key takeaway from this. And so, yeah, uh, broadly, if if you're if you're not able to connect it specifically back to Drake's music specifically, then maybe you can kind of take a step back and look at the entertainment industry and kind of see maybe where they fall in. Because, I mean, you might not be able to speak to Drake as a rapper, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you know about hip hop and rap as a genre of music. So maybe you can kind of tackle it from the, the whole music perspective as opposed to just the specific artist, if that helps. And and does does BTS is, is BTS blameless in pop culture in the society that we live in? Do they do they demonstrate good good traits all the time? Only BTS is good music, but do they glorify you know some bad things out there? Mm, uh, no, they're they're like really really just like nice. <laughs> so it's like in K-pop, if if you have any you know bad lyrics fans hate them they oh, don't get into relationships wow. as well because okay. they lose fans because of it oh. so everybody all the all the other k-pop bands nobody is in a relationship they do not do any of the bad stuff because that costs them fans so like oh fans God. start like hating them there's like a lot of uh i would say inter internet harassment cyber bullying and there have been some suicidal deaths of uh k-pop artists who died because of all of this so they try not they, they kind of like try not to do any of this wow yeah. that's and crazy. then uh, the fans i think most of the the k-pop fans they're very toxic so they stalk their uh idols we have this something called fan meetings where idols they can have like one one-on-one -on -one interactions with their fans and then fans can gift their idols and then all of these toxic stalker fans they put in cameras and microphones into those and then when the idols take them they can like see everything what's going on in their private lives so they're like really really toxic so the the k-pop industry is like really really bad because of these toxic fans 
So it's just not like music. You know, Shri, Shri, what I'm, what I'm really, it's sad, but I, but like you know what, and even for us though, like even fans in in the states are not blame the are not blameless fans for other genres. So the fans, we also like, we're not the best too. Like we 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 think we hold you know, man. But wow, okay. You learn something new every day. You just educated. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, and then it's like for K-pop fans, they are like into the delusions. They they think that the idols are their husbands and their boyfriends. So if they if they get into a relationship, they they just like go crazy. So that that's how that's how it is. That's the reason none of the K-pop idols get into any of the if they get into get into any dating rumors, then that's like the end of the career for them. That's not fair. Ashley, yeah. what do you think? Wow, I'm blown. That is very interesting. I had no idea about the K-pop Me neither. culture. Me neither. That is interesting. Um, well, learning from this, I would have never uh taking the social psychology course actually has really broadened my, you know, views on and educated me a lot of normal things that we're already dealing with. So it's very interesting. I would have never thought to have related that to a, you know, a rapper. Um, I mean, obviously you've related to rappers. You, re- I mean, me growing up, I related to artists <clears throat> like Tupac and, um, you know, the older kind of rap because <clears throat> you can relate to the music. I never like realized how, um, you know, these like model minority and image management and all of that, like come into play when you are thinking about that. So, I mean, it's, it's been very interesting to learn. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Dr. Chance, I'm going to give, give you the floor, quote unquote, to end, uh, to end this, but I've really enjoyed learning from the, I've learned a lot from the students, tell you the truth, but um, thanks for coming and over to you, Dr. Chance. Uh, I've, Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. Thank you all uh, again for coming again. Um, it was it was a very personal and intimate conversation, and uh, I appreciate that. And we'll get this posted to YouTube, and um, we'll I'll share that link back out in our classes so that those who couldn't be in person will be able to at least respond after the fact. And that may give you all some um, some time to get back if people have comments to some of the you thought you're you're saying. Um, so yeah, that's uh, interesting. I, I'm again. I've learned a lot myself as well. As, um, interestingly enough, I I know about the concept that Shri is talking about. I think it's one of the more current ones in psychological research. Where we're talking about these delusional relationships, or there's another term I've recently heard that uh, they call it in like the media, but I cannot think of the term. Where it's like where you created a fake. Hey, Lulu is the only Sululu. <laughs> that's yeah. that's the phrase. Yeah, and it, and I'm just like, well, that is really, really um, to, well, toxic at 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 its most base level. But uh, it's also kind of sad too that uh, people would do that. So I'm sure there's a lot of mental health implications and social implications with that. So, um, yeah, I mean, that could be an area of research that someone could examine uh, over over the years of their academic career. So just keep that kind of in the back of your mind there, because that may be something you're able to apply your psychological studies to. Um, but, um, no, thank you so much for coming. And, um, if you have any questions or follow-ups, please feel free to reach out. You all have my email. And then if you want to drop your email, Dr. Sakala in the, in the chat, in case anyone wants to reach out to you, then, um, they can, uh, do that as well. But that will, that's pretty much wraps where we are this evening. I just, I just posted the, uh, the, the email in the chat. So y'all go ahead and, uh, copy paste it real quick. And uh, yeah, so I guess just one last time, thank you so much, folks. Uh, just a chance, I look forward to watching this video. There's a lot of folks that expect it. Uh, it looks like I, I'm not like Drake, I don't have fans, but it's just folks that are supportive of me that 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 <clears throat> that, that want to see what we've done. Uh, Shri and Ashley, thank you so so much for attending this. You're conscientious students, speaking of speaking of the big, big five. I'm very, very proud of you all for attending and going out of your way to like really share uh your experiences thanks again folks thank you bye, bye. thank you of course